Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the new performance pad for the Robinson R66. Uh, if you have used the R22 and, or R44 before, this is a new user interface here. As you can see, it's called the Performance Pad Pro. So if you click on a seat, for instance, you have a function called uh, Quick Load. So the seat will be loaded with a predefined value. You can define this value here up there in the settings. Um, so uh, this, of course, enables you to really quickly do uh, a weight and balance overview. Of course, you can use the sliders here to uh, manually set the weights or you can click on uh, a value and um, enter the value manually. So uh, if you click on the door, the door will be removed and uh, all this, including here the fuel, will be noted and transferred to the load manifest, which is here. You can click here on the load manifest. And here you will see all the values. You can change those values. Uh, let's say you want to enter your own basic empty weight. You can just do so. In that case, we add five pounds, click return, and this will be calculated now. And um, this is now actually a new helicopter and you might want to save it as yours. So you go to flight registration and give it a new, new name. For instance, here I just add a two. Okay, so now we have done this and we can also create a new flight with this particular helicopter by clicking here on create new flight, say OK. And then now let's go back and change something. Let's say uh, in this flight you fly solo with a lot more fuel and now you can compare both flights. Let's put that baggage back here. You can compare both flights because this is flight two and down here you have two buttons. You can switch back to flight number one. That was the flight before and this is flight number two. So you can quickly set up scenarios and compare them. So let's change flight two now to this. You're not flying solo anymore. Now you compare those two flights and you see what's going on. Um, you can add custom information to every flight. You can put remarks, departure destination, routing and so forth. And all those information will be uh, visible in the load manifest that you can send to your email, which is down here. There's send load manifest. Just click there. And this is um, the email that will be created. Just enter your email address up here and this will be sent to you. So even if you did not enter anything, you can uh, manually um, um, change this because it's an email, it's an email editor, you can use this. So here are all the values, uh, weights and arms and moments. And down there you will also find um, performance data and you will also find uh, the Robinson CG limits. So this is your actual CG limit, uh, lateral and longitudinal. So um, this is actually all you need for your pre-flight planning in terms of weight and balance and performance. So just should be really uh, handy uh, for your flight planning then. Okay, let's cancel this for now and let's have a look at the performance uh, calculations. So as soon as you go uh, and change pressure altitude, um, all required values will be changed. So let's go for OGE. Let's change the pressure altitude. Let's say you want to fly 5,000 feet. Um, and let's say the temperature today is a bit warmer, 8 degrees. You can either enter the difference to ISA or you can um, in, uh, enter the uh, actual outside air temperature. I think it's more convenient to use uh, the difference because you say, oh, it's a little warmer and we're flying about five or 6,000 feet and then you have uh, your results here. You will see that the R66 is quite powerful. This is really an amazing machine. So. Uh, you, you really have to squeeze the values in here in order to uh, get results. This, this aircraft is so powerful, you really need a high, um, high altitude or high temperatures uh, in order to get a lower OGE. In order to see the OGE ceiling, you can click here. Uh, here you can set up a scenario, let's say um, this is based on your actual weight that you have entered here. So if you uh, put more weight in, of course your OGE ceiling will be lower. Here you can enter uh, the altimeter setting and you will see if you do so, if you reduce the pressure, then this side here is lower because this side represents the pressure altitudes. So um, you remember this, if you have a lower pressure altitude, mountains will be higher. So you, you can see instead of flying the 20,000 feet um, altitude or flight level, you will end up a little lower. 20,000 uh, feet pressure altitude will be uh, lower in that case. So you can find out how low it is um, 
or your actual altitude by just setting the pressure altitude, set the altimeter and read your MSL down here. So in this case 7000 feet with uh, 1030 uh, uh, or 30.42 on the altimeter will give you 7500 uh, feet MSL. Okay, so this is how you can quickly calculate OGE ceiling. Um, as soon as you change values here, these performance values will be changed as well. So OGE will be calculated, IGE will be calculated, and rate of climb will be calculated. Here the special thing is that the rate of climb consists out of two um, uh, charts. So this is the charts for 2,200 pounds and this for 2,700 and both charts will be interpolated uh, by uh, the, the app and you will be given an interpolated uh, value down here. So you can set anti-ice uh, on and cabin heat and then you can see uh, what happens with the rate of climb. Suddenly it goes uh, down a lot. So now, right now we have a minus rate of climb. So if you reduce the cabin heat and anti-ice, suddenly we are at 877. So this is quite remarkable, but uh, you have to keep that in mind that anti-ice and cabin heat does a lot of effect. So V and E, same thing. Uh, here you just set your pressure altitude and uh, your uh, temperature and the V and E will be calculated. Uh, here we have a power assurance chart from that's directly from the manual. So you enter your pressure altitude and you set your engine torque, let's say 70%. You follow um, uh, this chart here and you will end up with the maximum uh, measured gas temperature. So this is, uh, instead of using this chart in your cockpit, you can use the performance pad, which might be way quicker and will warn you, of course, if something goes wrong. So you have a lot of things going on. If you quickly move the slider, then you may, may not follow uh, what's going on. But if you carefully enter the values, then you can always follow the pad and see what's going on. Um, all right, so load manifest self has and now I would like to show you the uh, Robinson R66 info. So here on this page you will find uh, the descriptive data uh, about the engine, airspeed limits and stuff. Because this is such a new aircraft, I thought I'd put this in as a reference material. And then uh, last not least you have a build in E6B. So if you quickly want to calculate a distance from A to B, uh, let's say you want to fly, uh, let's do a quick example, we set a track up here, uh, set point and center from here, from there. If you click on use track, then this track will be calculated, you will get a distance, and if you set the variation correctly, you will get a correct uh, compass heading based on speed and wind you will see that uh, the compass heading will be calculated automatically. So this is just a quick reference uh, thing. The E6B might be handy. So let's close this here. And um, yeah, that's about it. This is the new R66 performance pad. Please let me know if uh, your feedback. So if you miss a function or so, um, by the way, oh, I forgot, I think uh, you can click here to remove controls and on the doors to remove the doors. And if you remove them, you see uh, V and E will be calculated because when you remove a door, uh, V and E is max uh, 100 knots and so forth. Thanks for listening. And yeah, just send me an email with your feedback. Thanks a lot. Bye.